Hello everyone, this is Bidas Salam from Pace Media and I hope everyone is fine and safe. In this video, I want to show you how to design WooCommerce my account page. Yeah, using Elementor free version like this, this one. Okay, now let's get started. First, let's create a new page. Sorry, in a new page, you can design the default my icon page of WooCommerce, but you can also design a new page. Let's design a new page. Let's call it account one. Okay, and template element of full white. Publish this. Okay, it did with Elementor. And let's go back to dashboard and let's go to WooCommerce settings. advanced here this is a page setup for WooCommerce yeah by default when you install WordPress uh, WooCommerce this default pages like card chart page my account page will be created automatically um, you can also change this so let's change it my change the my account page Currently, it is my profile, but let's change to account one. This is the one that we just created. Account one assigned. Let's set the changes. And now let's get started. First, let's create a section. Let's add about 100 pixel padding at the top, about 50 pixels. Uh, about 50 pixel at the bottom okay mm, let's add a background you can add gradient image video anyone you like let's uh, let me add some simple color yeah, this one Okay, and let's start adding title. Is title okay? This one, let's say my account color sense to white. Okay, and typography. Let's increase the font size about 60 pixels. Okay, like this, and duplicate this. And let's add subtitle. You can manage your account details here, like this, and change the typography to about 20 pixel. Increase the phone width to about 400, like this. Okay, and let's insert inner section here about five column like this so that we can insert the in in points who comes in points here yeah here account in points this is the one that you can see in default my account page yeah who comes account page you can see this in points orders view order downloads edit account edit address payment methods loss password customer log these things you can see in the fall woocommerce my account dashboard so we have to insert this manually so in elementor here let's insert a 
icon icon box sorry yeah it should be inserted here mm -hmm. okay let's remove the description and change the title to first is others okay now test others choose a icon appropriate icon like card card or something like this and link you can link to you have to link to info for linking okay let's update this first and uh, view let's preview first okay and we have to copy this paste URL and this is the my account paste URL copy this here in URL and up other and let's add this in points copy this to and paste here at the end of this URL like this now it is saying page builders dot in slash account hyphen one slash orders. This is the in point. Okay, link here is okay. Fine now let's style this icon. Okay, uh -huh. let's use frame. Okay, like this. And primary color to white like this. You can add hover color over color something contrast to the background color like yellow or something according to your needs like this and content color content color sends to waters uh, white and, and icon size is very large let's reduce to about 25 pixel like this it's okay smaller is fine and you can copy this copy page 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 like this and let's start from here you can sense icon next one is what next icon is downloads we have done orders then next is on downloads download okay you can choose any icon you think appropriate downloads okay fine and you have to change the download here what is the in point of downloads that's this co copy this here change here let me show you let's remove the orders and replace it with downloads okay like this and uh, since here for next one is what uh, edit account okay next one is account well it is saying my account so instead of saying account saying account let's say something like profile and since icon to user uh, any user is fine like this and in point is edit account replace the others with edit account like this and let's change this one to and next one is addresses address you can choose someone something like this or you can choose map icons like this address sorry spelling is incorrect address like this and let's copy the in point of address edit address like this yeah let's remove the others and replace with edit address and here that's law out 
let's follow out log this is lot okay like this change the title to lot and copy the endpoint for lot customer lot okay, like this replace the orders with customer lot like this update now we are done for the upper portion it is an already link to all the details but we have not in set displaying area the yeah, content displaying area here it should be the content displaying area in new section our pairing 150 at the top 150 at the bottom and okay this is a snippet let's insert woocommerce shortcut here in this section copy this it is very common woocommerce shortcut woocommerce my account Okay, like this apply it's loading okay let's refresh this interface taking a little long time okay now here is a shortcut let's preview this I can't demo yeah yeah it is it has been preview here it is showing the dashboard yeah we have already designed a dashboard here so we don't need this dashboard so let's remove this for that I have already prepared a code a CSS snippet let's copy this and here in this section go to advanced custom css and paste it update refresh this okay like this here it is done you can optimize it for mobile or other skins using yeah responsive designer e-commerce now it is done for me i have shown you the way this is how you design your my account page woocommerce account page using elementor free version i have no use any other extra complex or pro widgets this is text widget this is icon box this is shortcut and it is finished and it is easy i hope this video is somewhat helpful to you to make you design uh, your unique WooCommerce store and if you like this video click the thumbs up button and leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and I will insert this CSS snippet in my description you can check the description of my youtube video thanks for watching again I hope everyone stay safe